And now tripod. Well, Nexus is going to have to work one by one. Ah, oh, man. Nexus is trying to hang on here, guys. Untamed already eliminated. No, I'm here. Yeah, sorry, I went a little quiet here, just been reading. Um, Clean, that's clean, dude. Three seconds. Clean. All right, let's see. Can Nexus cut into this? Tripod has been eliminated. Who is the legal man? Who is the legal man? All right, no clean entry needed. Nexus can go right to work. Give him, I'll give him a warning, but big stuff, yeah, don't do it, big stuff. I'll give, I'll give him a warning. Bad, dude. I, I feel you. All right, so now, imagine if Nexus could make this improbable comeback. He has eliminated Tripod. Tripod can still record a win tonight. Right. So, and now looking to fly. Maybe. So it's Midnight Big Steph against Nexus. You can see Tripod still recovering on the outside after, and, and he's sitting there going, I cannot believe I lost another one. Poor bastard. Nexus pushes him down. Nexus has just got to work his way around here. Signature in hand for Midnight May Fire. He will not get the offense. Oh my. Next, this would be huge. And and much like we said, Tripod is still eligible for a win. So too is Untamed Legend. If Nexus Genesis picks up the W here. Probable it would require for Nexus and Untamed to do three and four seeds in this year's BFG. Both quarterfinalists, one through four, nine through 12. Those are the seeds that advance. It's easier to say it that way. And here's a guy who just quit EIF. Not sure why he's in here. All right, anyway. Suplex sit down connects. No, be fair. Be fair. All right, so. Dude, how about Boston? How about Boston, Isaac? You leave the party for what? Or you leave to what? See the Boston Bruins lose? Isaac, can you confirm, is, is Tyler there? Can you ask him, oh, if he's watching on the stream or whatever, can you, I just need to know, is he willing to fight Ebounds at Super Surge Reborn, Joe Lesnar? What? All right, let me text him. chest of Nexus Genesis. How Nexus is still in this, I don't know. There is a finisher in hand for Midnight. He is not right there. Ne Midnight is not on the turnbuckles, and that, that's taking time away. Nexus has time to recover. 
There's a miscommunication. Now, Midnight comes in with a finisher. And this could be it. Nexus Genesis kicks out. Oh, and look at this. They're going to look. Midnight wants Big Steph. He wants the tag. What is Big Steph doing? Big Steph has a finisher to Kanshimi. All right, and another match confirmed. Another match confirmed for Superstars Reborn. Evans versus NBC, Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. So just like Greedy and Tripod, that's another big fight one-on-one. -on -one. I'm really looking forward to this pay-per-view. I think we have a lot of good stuff coming up for you there. Shoulder into the chest. Again, Sunday, May 20th, at the IF's 8th Annual Superstars Reborn at the No Mercy Arena. Shoulder tackle connects. Nexus with another ring escape. Yep. Well, we knew we were going to mess the kickoff show. That show sucks. Max is trying to fight it off, but that will do it. And so... I'm almost... No, nah, just pet me, just pet me. I, I was tempted to actually be like, you know what, fuck it, I'll give it the college, the little college try, but I want to get this over. Okay. He does. Oh, wait, just kidding. Anyway, all right. So, the team of Midnight Mayfire. Big Steph and Tripod, they win the numbers game, three on two on paper. You're gonna be on the team too. All right. So a three on two handicapped win and moving on now, folks, we uh, understand that time is ticking on the way to the start of WWE Backlash. So let's get this next match going underway because no entrances, get right to it. Yeah. Uh, and again, talking about Superstars Reborn, and that's kind of where you're going to see the continued narrative over the next two weeks because it is an all superstardom pay-per-view. We kicked off the show with a number one contenders match for the U.S. title, Wicked Jr. winning that contest. Throughout the show, we've announced a couple of undercard matchups. Dual Candy actually winning a match that we've been told has since confirmed him to be one of the participants in Hellocity title match there. Now coming up next, our main event, once again, kind of following the same direction. It's a one-on-one -on -one between Deadly Gamer and Jumper Magnum. James Arcoffel going to be watching this with me. The characters, Edge represented by Jumper, Braun Strowman by Deadly. And they will join Blah Blah in 14 days to fight in a triple threat for the Superstardom Championship at Superstars Reborn. The question is, what will the stipulation be? Well, the winner of tonight's one-on-one -on -one main event between the challengers will answer that question. So a great opportunity for both Deadly and Jumper. And we'll see who can come out on top. The match is up. Deadly, you want to switch my spots? Thank you. 
James is going to be joining me here. He'll be wrapping up the video content. Also want to uh, take a big shout out to the few people that are watching now. We had a good amount of people watching right until around 7 o'clock, and that makes sense. We knew that was coming up. You got the pre-show on. So... <laughs> So, like I was saying, um, great. All right. So, um, so like I said, um, don't forget though, guys, uh, we do appreciate all the guys that are still sticking with us. Like I said, it makes sense. I knew it, you know, and I would have done the show five to seven today if I would have been able to six to eight is what we're doing. Same time this Thursday coming up. Uh, so no more shows for another four days, at least on my side and Hellocity on Wednesday this week. Um, also, by the way, though, folks, we do ask if you have time, if, uh, Right. Uh, makes sense. So, um, <laughs> uh, so by the way, guys, want to make sure if this show does end on time, um, and this is your first time watching, I understand we, uh, have a couple of new followers on Twitch, hopefully a couple new watchers on Mixer. I know we have some new viewers. I'm not sure if we have any new follows on Mixer yet. Um, but want to remind all of our viewers, if you have a chance and you haven't been here before, please stay at the very end, just a quick couple of minutes at the end to let you know how you can follow us here on Extreme International Fighting and all the uh, all the multi-platforms that we carry. Um, and that comes up immediate, or immediately at the end of our show. So connection actually seems pretty good here. So yep, one song for Jumper. So we're getting set our main event, Jumper and Deadly. Winner picks the stipulation. Let's back you guys up. It's two taunts. All right, here we go. Main event, ding, ding, ding. All right, and this match underway, and it's going to start out with Deadly going at Jumper. Big headbutt connects. 15 minutes left for our main event. It's an okay amount of time, right? Although every other match has went a decent amount tonight, so perhaps this follows that trend. Deadly walking over the stomach of Jumper, and a quick recap as we typically do at the end of our show. Only three matches to talk about tonight, but 12 superstars involved in all. Wicked Jr. outlasting Deathlock, Tyron, Kehar, and James. He was the unlikely hero uh, amongst those five superstars, and he wins a battle royale to kick off the show. Now becomes number one contender for Big Steph's United States Championship. Also, Dual Candy with a win over Sergio. Back and forth between Apollo Crews and Zack Ryder. Now, Dual Candy with Zack Ryder. He'll join Death Row, who has Batista in a multi-man for the Hellocity title at Super Stars Reborn. And just recently, Midnight, Tripod, Big Steph. The numbers game playing tricks on Nexus and Untamed. They come up short in a three-on-two handicap match. Midnight, Tripod, Big Steph, the wins. Tripod, the only person to be eliminated in the match, but he still receives a win with his team. And that brings us to this point. One-on-one, -on -one, Jumper and Deadly Gamer. Three stomp straight there from Jumper, who is out of reversals and in protect mode now. Both men out of reversals. And Deadly's gonna go to work. Big hammering right throw, a couple of them on Jumper and an uppercut. And teeing away all the damage he is doing. And hip tossing Jumper across the ring while it's always the power when it comes to Deadly with Braun Strowman. And one has to wonder, both these guys have draft picks for next half and Jumper sitting at sixth, Deadly on 12. And, and you have to wonder, does Jumper like to go to edge again at six? Is Braun Strowman available by the number 12 pick for Deadly? And, you know, Deadly's voiced some concerns about having a character with three reversals, so one could think we could be counting the days Deadly has left with Braun Strowman as he rolls in. Uh-oh, Jumper does not get the ring advantage. Eventually, he does grab the upper hand, though. Still a lot of health that Jumper needs to chunk through for Deadly. He'll roll outside now. And it looks like Jumper is going to be following, although he makes a strange kick. And he's able to get the drop kick. Deadly throwing some shots at Jumper, but that doesn't matter. Superstorm champion MIA tonight. Again, we come your way next, uh, actually with Hellocity on Wednesday. Uh, and then I will be back with you folks on Thursday evening. Uh, same start and end time scheduled as tonight. And Thursday is ED. ED 366, highlighted by our main event. And we have quarterfinal Battle for Glory All-Star Tournament action this week as the BFG shifts to round two, started with the Sweet 16 down to the Elite Eight. 
Jumper had offense for quite a while, but Deadly plants him down. Look at the amount of damage that move did. And Jumper has to be conservative. Well, Jumper says, or Deadly says that Jumper does the big boots and all these things. Deadly does the Irish whip like a motherfucker. And now, Deadly bringing Jumper up and drops him with a flat liner. That's the signature of Deadly Gamer. He's gonna try and hit a finisher quick. No, he doesn't. Oh, he, he could have. He could have too. And a jackknife power bomb. And a deadly, again, three reversals, tough to do, but Jumper, if there's anybody other than Deadly that knows what it's like to have a character with three reversals and experience success, that is Jumper Magnum, and he did that so much with Baron Corbin, Signature Connects. And this, a, a nice, fast-paced, and hard-hitting one-on-one main event. Jumper out of reversals, Deadly has two, and, and Jumper's gonna wait. It's a finisher for Deadly. One nothing finisher count. Deadly slamming Jumper into the canvas. A chance to beat Jumper at the five minute mark. Deadly with the cover. One, two, Jumper's foot nearly on the rope and he's able to kick out, cost him his finisher. Cost him his finisher to do it. And Deadly gonna go right back to putting the pressure on the torso area that Jumper now is in red. I know we're worried about going into overtime, but we actually started the show a few minutes late. So really, uh, as for my mixer broadcast, we've only been up for 96 minutes, and we didn't start till three minutes in. So actually just over an hour and a half of action right now. Jumper stomping on the outside, and he'll go right back in. Deadly has a shade of yellow left. Wait a minute, seven, oh, you gotta be kidding me. And Jumper could do that. Oh, that's a that's a, not a fun way to end the, the show. Deadly's gotta get in, Deadly's gotta get in. Deadly's at one knee. Deadly is gonna get counted out. Well, I'll, I'll tell you what, guys. Well, I'll, I'll put it this way, guys. Jumper, I, I personally would consider Jumper a heel in this league, and I would certainly have said that going into this match. And without a doubt, you can say that going out. Deadly not happy about that, but you know what, guys? It's part of the rules. Deadly got on the apron. He's rolled in the ring the two previous times. This time he tried to get on the apron and get in. It did not happen. Jumper taking advantage. And look at the character Jumper represents. It's Edge, the rated R superstar, and the character who many call the ultimate opportunist. Jumper cashed in on his opportunity. And so a ring out count victory, that'll be how it's scored on the website. Jumper will have the a chance to pick the stipulation of a triple threat. I'll tell you this much though, he's in a triple threat. He's not gonna be able to win by count out, to win the Superstar Championship. And if there's any comfort Deadly can take in this loss, it is that fact right there, if he heard it through the belligerent yelling in this party. Anyway, that is going to do it for Superstar 380. We're able to end it a couple minutes ahead of the eight o'clock time. So fans, please enjoy WWE Backlash. But before you go, if you're just now watching us for the first time, please give us a follow here on Mixer and Twitch. It's mixer.com slash EIF underscore network and twitch.tv slash EIF network. If you're, even if you're only watching on one, would love to get a follow and have your support on both. Also be sure to check our Twitter at EIF network and give us a follow there. Uh, latest breaking news updates and more are on that. Uh, you can check out our YouTube channel and subscribe to EIF Archive. Check out our video library on EIF 
A-R-C-H-I-V-E, EIF Archive. And last but not least, do not forget to head over to the EIF website. It's the home of Extreme International Fighting, LeagueLineup.com slash EIF Lives. All right, that's going to do it for tonight's edition of Super Stardom Episode 380. A lot of seeds being planted in terms of the formation of the card for EIF's 8th Annual Superstars Reborn. Just 14 days away from that EIF pay-per-view, an all Superstardom exclusive. Special thanks to James Arcoffel, as always, for our video production and from all of our EIF superstars. Again, that's it for Superstardom 380. Ring out count win for Jumper over Deadly. Hope you all enjoyed and enjoy WWE Backlash from all of us at Extreme International Fighting. I'm EIF owner Cardi. Have a great night. We'll see you next time right back here on Twitch and Mixer, the home of the EIF Network.